Hello and welcome. This is Sci Spy, and we are going to be playing some One Night Stand. Alrighty. Gotta get my sexy voice on. What do we got here? Maybe it's my creepy voice. My hand. My stomach. I feel like crap. Last night, what happened? Drink. Lots of drink happened. Uh, what's that noise? My phone! Where is my phone? On oh, there! Got it! Shut up, phone! Wait, what the hell happened to you last night? Gary? What does he want? Oh yeah, that's right. I was, I was out with Gary last night. He doesn't sound too happy with me though. Should I respond? Hell yes! I have no idea. But I've woken up with a banging hangover. You? No battery. Crap, my phone's about to die. I better plug it in before the battery runs out. Where's my phone charger? That's not it. That's not it either. My phone charger has to be around here somewhere. Wait. This isn't my bedside table. This isn't even my room. Where am I? My clothes. They're all over the floor. Am I? I'm completely naked! Um... Whoa! Who is she? Why am I in her bed? Did... Did we hook up? This must be her room. I hope this is her room. But... Who is she? Dude, you bait on me. I gave up a date to go drinking with you and you water off one after one round. What the hell? Gary dished his date, and I dished him. Shit. Did I really leave after one round of drinks? I can't remember. Hmm. If Gary knew about the situation I was in, he might be able to laugh it off or give me some information, at least. Should I tell Gary about this girl? Obviously! Mate, I'm really sorry about last night, but I've just woken up in some girl's bed! Hopefully Gary can shed some light on this situation. Mm -hmm. Ha! Bullshit! You crap pulling me, mate! You're gonna need a better excuse than that. Gee, thanks for the vote of confidence, Gary. Shit. I can't remember anything that happened last night. It's such a blur. Leaving Gary to ring a bell, but... I don't even know who this girl lying next to me is. And where the heck am I? 
this is going to be so awkward when she wakes up. Ugh, this hangover is not helping. Well, if Gary's not going to take my word for it, I could take a sneaky picture. That would definitely shut him up. What should I do? Hell no. This is my booty. I'm not going to stoop to that. Gary can think whatever the hell he wants. Ah, shit. My phone died anyway. And I'm still no closer to finding out what happened last night. What should I do now? Wake her up. I need answers and I need them now! Ah, what the? Did she just throw the covers over me? She's gone. Maybe she's a little freaked out about all this. I know I am. <laughs> Owner, if she wants me to leave. What's over here? My phone books. It's a pile of magazines. There's some music and gaming mags in here. Oh, she's a gamer. Awesome. Some of the articles sound pretty interesting. Sam, I don't have time to read them now. Completely out of juice. If my phone wasn't dead, I might have been able to find out what's going on. Or at least where I am. I found my jeans. I look a bit dirty though. Where'd that stain come from? Eh. Probably still good for another day or two. I really need to find my boxers before I put them on, though. Hang on. There's something in the pocket. Sandbar. Buy five cocktails and get your six free. Sandbar, huh? I know this place. They do good cocktails. Maybe that's where we met. Children from this, I earned my fair share of cocktails. This card is fully stamped. Wow. Did I, I drink five cocktails? No wonder I didn't end up crashing in it. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Um, sorry for dashing out of the room like that. I hope I didn't freak you out or anything. It's okay. I was just a little shocked when I got suddenly smothered by the bed covers. Sorry, I woke up feeling pretty dodgy and had to rush to the bathroom. I see. Is everything okay? Um, uh, I don't want to go into it. Oh, right. I see you have your jeans there. Oh, yeah. Thought I'd pick him up. I see. Have you been awake long? Not really. I was woken up by my phone buzzing. Ah, I wonder what that was. It woke me up, too. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. This is awkward! I should ask her something. Ask about... Her? I feel like I should... I feel like I should know more about her! But to directly ask, I don't think she'd be too happy with me. Uh, nice apartment you have here. Oh, thanks. I share it with my flatmates. That didn't help much. What's up? You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? It's just a hangover! Don't worry about it. Well, I'm not surprised. 
You already had a few, a, quite a few drinks before I met you last night. Quite a few drinks. Didn't Gary say I had one round of drinks with him last night? I'm going to go get yourself a coffee. Do you want anything? Sure, I'll take coffee. Yeah, coffee sounds good. Help me shape off this hangover. Is that okay? Sure, I'll put the kettle on. I hope I didn't mind instant. Sure. How do you take it? Right. With milk, please. Ah, nice choice. Just how I like it. One minute. Nice ass. Okay, she's gone. I've got to try and keep it cool! I don't want her to find out that I can't remember her! Ugh, I hope I haven't weirded her out already. She seems... Cool! Still, I don't even know her name. What about those books? How did my shirt end all the way up here? It stinks of sweat, smoke, and... You know what? I'd rather not find out. Anyway, it's all I've got. So I have no choice. I'll put it on. Teddy bear. It's a teddy bear. Cute! Looks like this has seen better days, though. His armor's about to fall off. I should leave it alone. Here. Thanks. It smells good! Heh. <laughs> Hope you like it strong. It's great. Thank you! Are you holding up okay? Holding up? I have no idea. Uh, yeah. Okay, thanks. Good. Um, what should I talk about? Teddy bear. Um, I like your teddy bear over there. Oh, do you mean Mr. Puds? <laughs> Puds. Mr. Puds. Yeah, he's been my cuddly friend since I was little. You didn't touch him, did you? No, I resisted giving him a cuddle. Good, don't please. His arm is about to fall off. Yes, I noticed. I really need to get it fixed. Poor Mr. Puds, I hope he gets better soon. Just stay away from him. Okay. Wow, I don't think I've seen anyone so protective over a teddy bear before. It feels a bit awkward again. I should really cut to the chase and ask her about last night. She must know something. So, that was quite a night, huh? Yeah, it was alright. You know... I think I owe you my thanks. Thanks? I was feeling pretty down last night. I always brush off the idea of meeting up with a stranger through a dating app. A dating app? Is that how we met? But a friend out there met his girlfriend on there, so I thought I'd give it a try. Though, it took me a while to work up the courage to go through with it. Finding the right guy, getting to know him, eventually agreeing to me, then he doesn't even show up. What an asshole. Okay, I think he, I can prove that the asshole she's talking about isn't me. I was there for over an hour on my own. After that, I was ready to jump into a taxi, go home, and shut myself in for days. But then you showed up. I'm glad you did. You saw I was down, brought me a drink, and cheered me up. I did? Yeah. I remember you sympathizing with me a lot. You listened to me go on and on about that dating app. Douchebag. Ha ha ha. And so, thanks to you, the night wasn't ruined. 
Hmm. So she got stood up last night. And we must have met after that. Maybe I was just a shoulder for her to cry on. Although I did end up here. Whatever the cause, it explains why I ended up abandoning Gary last night. A little. Even if I can't remember anything we talked about. Don't worry about it. I'm glad you had a... <clears throat> I'm glad you had a good night in the end. Although I think my mate's a bit pissed at me for ditching him. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. We were just in the middle of a bar crawl. I'm sure he'll get over it. I didn't realize you were out with anyone else. Yeah, I was out with Gary! We started out this bar his bro recommended. I think. Uh... Huh? Uh, it's nothing. Hold on. Which bar? Uh-oh. She's on to me. I can't remember anything. I have no idea which bar. Sure, I found the sandbar card. Was it that? Which bar did you go with your friends? I'm going to say sandbar. Sandbar seems likely. Err, uh, sandbar! Really? Yeah, why? That means you left and went back. Huh? Uh, well that was the last place I remember going with you. You mean we went to more than one bar together? Uh, yeah? Wait, you don't remember that? Uh... Hmm, seems like your memory's a bit fuzzy. So what about me? Do you remember my name? Um... Oh. My. God. <clears throat> this is embarrassing. So your memory's hazy then. Uh, yeah? Maybe I can fill you in with what I know. Please do. Please do! It would help! Well, I was waiting at the bar at the Paradox Nightclub around 10 p.m. I've been waiting there for a while. Paradox, huh? I was pretty tipsy and vaguely remembering you, remember you approaching me. You didn't even seem too drunk. We had a round together and then got chatting. We found a secure spot to go to to get to know each other. Although Paradox got louder as the night went on. That's when you suggested we go elsewhere. Sandbar? Exactly. But things soon began to get pretty fuzzy. I don't remember much. I don't think either of us were in a good state to make decisions. Somehow we grabbed a taxi, and I guess we ended up here. Hmm. Okay. That's all I recall, anyway. As for you and your friends, I have no idea what happened. No worries. Thanks for helping me fill in the blanks. It's helped a little, but, ugh, embarrassing. Oh, someone's at the front door. One minute. Nice ass. Hmm. There's so many things I don't remember about last night. Maybe I could find some more clues around here. What's this? A half empty bottle of Rioja Rioja Reserva. I guess we drank this when we got back from Sandbar. Uh, no wonder I'm so hungover. It's a mirror. How do I look? Well, I may feel like crap, but I've certainly seen worse. Hmm, she certainly has a lot of stuff stuck under this. 
If I loved you less, I might be able to talk about it more. What's this? Hmm. There are a lot of loads of gig tickets here, too. Two of these haven't been used yet. I wonder who she's planning on taking her. Eh, sorry about that. Who was at the door? Just a mailman. I ordered some books online. Huh. I wonder if she answered a dress like that. Maybe I should try to get her well, get to know her a little more. Sure. Why? You know, you shouldn't have spoiled me with that fancy bottle of wine. Fancy bottle of wine? Oh, that's not fancy. No? Heh, <laughs> sorry to disappoint you. I save the fancy stuff for special occasions. I'll try not to take that as an insult. I don't usually drink wine. Oh, I'm pretty sure we didn't drink here last night. That bottle's just what I keep by my bed. You keep a bottle of red wine by your bed? Yeah, I like to pour myself a glass when I read the bed sometimes. Right. Something wrong with that? Uh, no. Good. Gee, I guess I couldn't blame this hangover on the wine then. Maybe I just got hammered with cocktails at Sandbar. Listen, about last night. Yeah? Going out, meeting a total stranger, and bringing him here, home? This isn't something I normally do. In fact, I've never done this before. She's never had a one-night stand before? Have you ever done anything like this before? No. No, I've not. That's reassuring. It makes me feel a bit less uncomfortable about this whole thing. I guess what I'm trying to say is... I don't want this to be... typical. I mean, you're still here. He didn't sneak out before I woke up or whilst I was in the bathroom. I don't know. You were nice to me last night. But I did expect you to leave. I don't mean you're still been here as bad or anything. <laughs> She's happy I'm still here? I must have managed to make a good impression then, all things considered. Look, um, we really didn't get to know each other that well last night. Or did we? I can barely remember it. I ranted long enough about my date troubles. <laughs> I've talked long enough about me. Tell me about you. Huh? Tell me something about you. Uh, like what? Anything. If we got to know each other a little bit better, this could be different. Different? Like, I don't know, not as weird. Yeah, I guess. What should I tell about myself? My hobbies, my friends, my personality. My hobbies! Well, I... Uh... Huh? I'll be right back. And she's gone again. That was strange. She seemed okay until I opened my mouth. What should I do? Help her. I should help. She didn't look well. Whoa! Are you right beside the door? I was worried about you. Oh. Are you okay? Not really. I just feel sick all of a sudden. Um... Maybe it was something I ate last night. Or too much drink. What should I do? Can I get you anything? Thanks, but I think I just need to get some rest. Are you sure? 
Yeah. Sorry. I'll quickly grab my phone and get out. I still can't find my underwear though. What the hell? Okay, I've got all my stuff. Cool. There's a bus station just down the road from here. You should be able to get home from there. Thanks. Listen, I appreciate we had a last time, a uh, nice time last night, and I am grateful for that. I just don't feel very well right now. Can we stay friends? Yeah, I think so. Don't get me wrong, not friends with benefits or anything like that. But you were here for me at a time of need. You didn't sneak out in the middle of the night or this morning with my back was turned. I'm grateful for that. So yeah, friends it is. Hmm, is friends enough? Maybe I shouldn't go and spoil a good thing like friendship. Then again, maybe she's holding back because she wants me to make the move. Should I ask if we can be more than friends? No. I am too shy for that. No. No, why spoil a good thing? I think she's made herself clear. Besides, if we stay in touch, who can say what happened in the future? Friends it is. She sees you to the front door and you give her your mobile number, but you still don't know her name. You doubt the night you had together was a romantic experience that perhaps the girl had yearned for, but at least she was really friendly towards you. You walk out into the street and head towards a nearby bus station, the one that she told you about. Despite your hangover, you had fun chatting to her. You enjoy getting to know a little bit more about her before you left. When you arrive home, you charge your phone and discover a message from an unknown number. Thanks, X. I wonder how else that could have played out. Alrighty, that is the end of this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one.